Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel and thank you for joining me. I am Carol Amendola Dianca, board certified nutritionist and passionate about the science and study of nutrition and also the practical application for longevity in a, in a wonderful life that we all can achieve. So I wanted to talk to you today a little bit about gardening because it is something that seems to have been picked up in interest, but for a long time and maybe continuing now, with a lot of people, uh, a lost art. You know, the longest living people on the globe are people that have gardened, the people in Italy and Spain and other areas of the world where they ex enjoy the, the longest longevity, the blue zones, all have a garden. And there is a wonder there are wonderful qualities about the garden. There's, of course, the, the produce, the, the organically grown uh, fruits and vegetables, or just, just lettuce, or just vegetables, or just herbs that we can enjoy. These are important aspects of getting our fingers a little bit dirty, building a good uh, uh, gut bio. Oh, it's getting windy out here. Gut bio so that we will um, be able to feed our uh, the good bacteria in our system that we require. So I want to pass along a couple of ideas today. Some are very, very simple, some not quite so simple, but things that all of us can do so that we can enjoy um, more time outside and in our gardens and becoming even healthier. Okay, so I hear that uh, people don't have enough room or space to garden, but you can garden anywhere. Living even in a very, with a very small balcony or balcony area, as you can see here, you can use pots and you can grow an amazing assortment of fresh vegetables and uh, herbs that you can use in the summer. As far as the vegetables go, you might be able to notice that I have um, I have tomato plant here, and this is a little patio tomato plant and it's planted in this uh, pot. And of course, over to the right of it is the basil. And then I have um, fresh oregano on the left side. And this little pot here with these three things in it will grow profusely all summer long. And every time I wanna leave my kitchen and come out to one of these pots and snip an herb or watch the little tomatoes grow, it's just very, very rewarding. Uh, and you miss it when it's winter and you don't have this growing outside your door. So that's all you need is a pot. Even with a small balcony, you can do some wonderful things. And then over here, this is my other pot where I have fresh parsley growing, fresh rosemary, and then off to the side in the back is uh, a patio eggplant. So I have a little eggplant uh, plant there that's going to produce probably three or four eggplants that I will use. And if you're just starting with gardening or if you don't have a lot of room or space, this is a great place to start. When you get your hands in the dirt and you get out in the sunshine, it's just such a good feeling. When I walked out early this morning, I could just smell these herbs. It was wonderful. Now, if you would want to do something a little more that causes, needs a little more space, and a little more, I wouldn't even call it complex, maybe labor intensive. Um, here is just a quick shot of my garden. It's not looking the neatest right at this moment, but it's one side of my garden. And you'll notice right down the middle, I have tomato plants. I have planted a, a total of 21 tomato plants that are going to be uh, profusely developing and growing tomatoes and I'm going to can them. And then you might notice that I have some flowers growing right down the middle of that midsection. And those are what I call pollinators because they're great. They keep uh, the bees coming uh, to pollinate the plants. I'm going to start something new this year where I'm just going to allow the tops of those tomato plants to grow. Pretty soon I'll have to stake them, but I'm cutting off everything on the bottom. And then there are some more plants over here of tomatoes, a few more flowers, and then all along the back uh, arbor trellis, you probably can't see it yet, but those are climbing tomatoes. So later this summer, I'll take some more pictures of the climbing tomatoes. So that's all it really takes. Uh, I will also show you a picture of my fresh garlic that I grow, and it's very, very easy. I'll tell you about it. We are now on the other side of my garden, and uh, this might just look like a, a mess. You might wonder, what is this? This is fresh garlic growing. And I planted garlic bulbs here last October and they will start to grow and then they go dormant during the winter. 
And by the end of February, beginning of March, I can start to see shoots coming up. Now here it is the end of May and I have beautiful garlic plants growing and these tall green leafy structures as part of the garlic uh, is actually helping. It's doing the photosynthesis that is helping the garlic bulb underground to grow. This will be harvested probably about the end of July. So if you're willing to amend a little patch of soil and plant some garlic bulbs in October, or uh, yeah, beginning of October or mid-October, you will have something like this that you can harvest in July. It's very, very rewarding. When you, when you cook with fresh garlic, it's such a different flavor. You will come to love it. So thank you for joining my YouTube channel. I am going to, as I say goodbye to you, I'm going to walk over to my native garden where I have all my native plants growing. And this garden does not require any fertilizer, any watering, anything. It's just all native plants that grow on their own. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel so I can continue sending you great information for diet and lifestyle. Thank you for joining.